Hello, everyone. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you something about Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC, how to add multi-language support for this Windows 10 LTSC version. As you may know, Windows 10 LTSC is the stripped-down version of standard Windows 10 Enterprise. There are some not core features from standard Windows 10 Enterprise has been taken out from this image. Those missing Windows features will free up extra hard drive space and the PC system resources, which can help you run PC more efficiently. There are no pre-installed apps included in this Windows 10 LTSC version, such as Cortana, no OneDrive, you also will not get a Windows big update, but you can get Windows security update and bug fix. Secure will not be an issue. It will also be supported for 10 years after release. For latest version after 2021, the security update support will be 5 years. Windows 10 LTS SA version also works fine for your daily PC usage. You will still connect to internet, install a third party app, play the PC games as well. But it might take some extra work to get some apps and games function properly. Or even you might need to special drivers for your machine as well. You also might need to install some alternative apps to make up for the lack of the media player, Microsoft 365, Edge browser, or Analysis as well. Windows 10 LTSC, as you know, also not including Microsoft Store app, but this can be downloaded and installed if you need it. So as you can see, there's a GitHub repository so we can download this Microsoft Store and install it into Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. That won't be a problem. If you are query about how to install Windows 10 LTSC, how to download them, you will find it from Windows 10 Enterprise download page. That's under the Evaluation Center. You will need license to activate it. You can get a 64-bit version and the 30 to bit as well. One thing I do found annoying about this version is they don't support other languages well since they not included in their release. So I made this blog post and this video about it, how to install other language such as Chinese into the Windows 10 LTSC. You will find all steps from this blog post, which I'm going to post in the video description, as usual. So now, let's start it. As I mentioned before, Windows 10 LTSC version is a stripped-down version of the standard Windows 10 Enterprise. So the ISO file size you already can tell how much space has been released. This is Windows 10 1809 Enterprise 2019 LTSC ISO file. It only have 2.24 gigabytes, around 2 gigabytes. For normal, Windows 10 is take 5 gigabytes or 6 gigabytes for the ISO file. So it already have half size as usual. So when I installed Windows 10 LTSC, it only take a gigabyte for my VM VMware workstation. Comparing to regular Windows 10 installation around 20 gigabytes, this is much smaller, much lighter. So that's the one of the benefits I want to 
to use Windows 10 LTSC 2019 this version. So now let's boot this Windows 10 LTSC 2019 into my VMware workstation and I'm going to show you how to install the multi-language support. Windows 10 LTSC virtual machine has been boot up. As you can see, I have 4 gig of RAM installed. And I got the 4 virtual processor in this VM. Um, it is um, Windows 10 LTSC 2018. Actually, it's 2019 version. I haven't activated this Windows yet. After that, um, I have installed a Google Chrome and I'm trying to browse some Chinese website which is not showing it correctly. Those square characters are Chinese, but this Windows 10 LTSC by default won't support it. There's a no extra language package for this Windows 10. Same thing on some Chinese applications. It won't be shown correctly for the Chinese characters. So we're gonna fix this in this video. Um, as you can see, the first thing we want to make sure is activate your Windows 10. You need to have the key. Um, I'm gonna do that in this video as well. I have my own KMS server installed, which I'm going to use it to activate this Windows 10. So as you can see, now I have activated my Windows 10 LTSC, which is using a volume activation. Now Windows is activated. Now let's fix the language issue we are facing right now. Let's go to settings. So we know we need a Chinese language or other languages you can find out from this list. It's the same process. So I'm going to find out the Chinese here. I'm using this simplified Chinese. Next, install. So there's some components that will be installed. So we're gonna wait a bit to see that as well. At the same time, we also need to install Microsoft Store here, just in case we need some extra settings. We will keep that step at the end until we need it. But now we just wait this simplified Chinese language component to be installed. So as you can see, Windows Display Language here is still showing square characters here. They are not showing Chinese well. One thing we can do on that, so let's look at the options. So they're still downloading those basic typing, handwriting, speech, etc. etc. They installed a Microsoft Pinyin 
input method as well but again it's still not showing correctly for the characters even some of them right here do you think reboot gonna help that will not we will try that but before we doing that we will need to change one language settings we're gonna administrative language settings here we're gonna change the language for long unicode programs this is also important part chinese simplified don't choose the beta one once you choose the beta one it will still not working properly so once we change this we will need to reboot so let's give it to reboot and we will see how it goes system has been rebooted let's see how it goes this time let's go to some chinese website and check out at this moment we already can see there's some square characters at the taskbar which means it's not showing Chinese character correctly it's not same thing on applications it's just showing a square character here not showing right let's go to the settings language so we want to see English still will be our display language since it's not showing correctly we're gonna sign out Sign in. So we already did do everything we do. Are there anything we're missing here? Do we need to add a Windows Display Language with Local Experience Pack? You will need Microsoft Windows Store. But actually, this is not mandatory. We have a way to fix this issue. The reason why it's not showing correctly is because the fonts. The Windows 10 LTSC version doesn't include necessary found to display the Chinese characters I'm thinking it may fit into all other languages as well so what I do is I grab all Chinese fonts from a regular Windows 10 and put in the package and then I'm gonna install it and basically put it into the Windows fonts LTSC font folder so here is what I do I put this into my website which store all the uh, softwares so I have Chinese font 100 Mac buy it here let me download this one it will be very fast show in the folder I'm gonna extract all of them onto the same folder at the same time I'm gonna move this font all those fonts I found from my regular Windows Enterprise version and I'm gonna move them into Windows font folder 
they already have some friend there but not include all friend so that probably an issue easy way to do that just grab all everything there I'm gonna copy them in if they have same they can override it if they are missing that's good for us to add them in so totally there's 13 of them after that we may need to report the system now let's give it try again the system has been booted um, let's take a look so right away you can see it shows correctly on the all Chinese calculators now basically Windows 10 LTSC version doesn't include all necessary funds to show those other languages calculators Chinese is a typical one how about other applications now they're showing not square characters anymore they're showing right information so if you really need Chinese experience you can go to settings language you can change Windows display language to Chinese also if you need to add a little bit the local experience packs so you might need to go to my website download the Windows Store package this is Windows Store package you also can download it from github page so same thing I put it here just make things much easier because this is a popular features when people get the LTSC version they were asking how they can install Microsoft apps so this software gonna help you to resolve those issues on download it and then extract it double click the installation file that's the only thing you need to do after that you can try to get this Windows display language with local experience packs install finish it let's go back to settings right away you will get the Microsoft Store here so we will have a chance here to install any apps you will need it and you also can get your Chinese local experience package here so that's all I will show today for you in this episode regarding how to get your Windows LTSC to support multiple languages and support Microsoft Store so hope you enjoyed it again if you like this video give me a thumb up if you haven't subscribed please do thank you for watching see you in my next episode